Well, hello. I don't know how this lighting is going to come out, but it cares. It's just an impromptu video. We're going to try this again, and hopefully my dog will let me uh, speak. Basically, this topic came up in my mind the other day. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and another co-worker of mine, and the subject came up of um, an, a woman over the age of 50, which... I am not, but that doesn't matter. The woman I was speaking to is nearly 50. And we were speaking about a woman who was over 50. And she has um, blonde hair. And in the back of her hair, she has it dyed different colors. It changes often. Sometimes it's it's mostly just like the back half of her hair. She does in like pinks, purples, greens. You know, any color you can think of. And my coworker has an issue with it. She thinks it looks inappropriate, unprofessional. Um, but this, this coworker had an issue with it and she felt that it's inappropriate. Now it came into question, you know, like what was everybody else's opinions on it? And I had to share my own opinion and I'm going to share it with you guys. And I would not, I want you to share yours with mine, but I don't care that she dyes her hair all different colors. You go girl. Personally, I think, and I'm going to try not to drop an F on about, about uh, it gets me fired up when I think about it, like, how effing dare you? How dare you judge somebody and put an age limit on clothing, style, whatnot? Let me tell you something. I want to be able to do whatever I want, wear whatever I want, and I don't want to worry about what anybody else thinks. I want to do what I want to do because I don't like being told what to do. Okay, I got a problem with that. If I was to see an 85-year-old woman walking down the road in a cut-off t-shirt, a mini skirt, and thigh-high boots, you know what I would think? You go, girl. You go, girl. You go. Look at you wearing whatever you want and not being afraid of your age. Because we ain't getting any younger. None of us are. Okay? So if anybody in the ages of 20, like, you're going to be 20 forever, okay? Someday you're going to be old. You're going to be pushing the 30s and the 40s and the 50s just like the rest of us. And guess what? I don't think you're going to want to be told what to wear. I don't want to be told what to wear. Now granted, I limit some of the clothing I wear, but that's due to my body size. Body size. I'm uncomfortable being in certain type of clothes because I am um, insecure with my own body. And that's just the truth. You know, I know that's like frowned upon to admit when you're insecure with your own body. I'm insecure with my own body. So boop, that's just the way it is. But I know that as I get thinner, and more comfortable and unfortunately you know I feel like today it's like a flip of things I think there are still people who get uh, judgment passed on them for being overweight I'm not, I'm not saying that doesn't happen but I'm saying there's almost that small a small change in the air that it's almost it's almost shameful to admit that as an overweight person that you're uncomfortable in your shoes you know I guess the thing is, is you, you gotta be body confident you know you gotta be I'm okay, body confident, but I want to lose weight. So I am not confident with this body. I want it to go away. I want a thinner body. Why? Because it makes me feel comfortable. Comfortable. It makes me feel physically better. All right? But that's not, that's getting off on a whole other topic, which we ain't going to touch on right now. We're touching on limits of clothing, limits of style. Uh, saying, no, you're too old to wear that. You're too old to wear this. You're too old for that haircut. Hell no. Hell no. How dare you? Put a limit on someone. Do you feel the same way? Because I'm telling you, I don't. I wholeheartedly disagree with that entirely. There should not be age limits on things. And I'm sorry, yeah, some clothing. I don't care if I see a 90-year-old woman walking down the string bikini. You go, girl. If you feel comfy in that and that makes you feel good, you go, girl. I really don't care. I would not look at her and be like, hell no. I wouldn't. I sincerely wouldn't. Because I love people who are confident in what they're wearing and not afraid to, to, to step out of the box a little bit. You know what I mean? Listen, let me tell you something. For years, I have wished that I could just dye my hair pink. The only reason why this hair is not pink, 
is because I don't think it'll match my skin tone. I think it'll look funny. And I don't know anybody who gets the color that I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? And I don't want to experiment on mine because I got dark colored hair. Dark colored hair and getting dyed pink means it needs to be lightened. And I'm afraid of the lightening process. But I would rock pink hair if I could. Let me just tell you, I would. I think it looks great. And any other color of the rainbow, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there should be limits. How do you people out there feel? Do you think there should be limits put on people? Oh, you're this age? Oh, you can't, you can't wear that anymore. Oh, oh. 40 and above, you really ought to start thinking about cutting off your hair. Why? Who's that? I said, why too loud? I might have to pause and come back. Who put the rules on the haircut club? Who put the rules on it? Who put the rules? I'm gonna wear whatever I want. And this is the way it is. And I don't think anybody has the right to judge. I probably just said the same sentences over and over. But that's how I feel. I feel pretty passionate about that. Is that if you want to rock long hair until you're 105, baby, you do it. Who cares? It's your hair. It's your hair. But I, I've seen so many things on the internet that there's age-appropriate hair. Who the f who's, who's, in, who, who's the judgment of the age-appropriateness? What, is there a committee? Is there like this group that I gotta be a part of? We go for a vote? Let's vote to see uh, the length of hair for uh, this age group? Is there rules? Who made the rules? Who's the boss? Well, guess what? I'm the boss. Boop. I'm the boss. And click, click, you wear whatever you want. Click, click, wear what you want. My dog agrees. She says, rock that purple hair if you want to. Do it. We'll be back. Cause she's gonna bring this whole thing up. I'm back. Hopefully my dog is all settled down now. And uh, I rewatched the video that I just made and um, I hated that damn lipstick on uh, with this eyeshadow. So we got rid of it. And now we just got clear gloss on. But it tastes like mint. Um, I do want to clarify one thing. Listen, man, if you're an older woman with, with long hair and you want to cut it off, that's okay too. I'm not judging that. I, I, I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm saying do whatever makes you happy and be confident about it. And don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot wear. I just don't buy that shit. I didn't mean to swear. I just, I get feisty when it comes to that. You should be able to wear what you want and not worry about it. Seriously. You get one life, one life, okay? You gotta live it to the fullest, man. Live it to the fullest, do what you want. Cause at the end, okay, luckily, I mean, you know, like you're at the end and you're actually on it. Like a, a, you go out and you get to like have a tick list. Like I did this, I did this, happy I did this. You don't wanna sit there and think about how you were worrying about what everybody else thought about your clothes, your hair, your face and everything else. You wanna just be you, do it. Nobody put no age limits on nothing around me. Because I'm going to wear whatever I want, how old I am, I don't care. I'm doing what I want. And you should too. And if I'm giving you a hard time, give me a call. I'll set them straight. This ass is not going to go to bed. I don't know, it's just a subject that really, really ticks me off. I don't know why I'm shaking my dog's antibiotics. It just got me mad, and I was rethinking about it. I'm like, hey, how dare she make fun of that girl's hair? How dare you? Who the hell are you? Okay? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? And would you say that to her face? Probably not. Probably not. So then why are you saying anything at all? Just shit it. Mind your business. That's what I want to say. I should have said I did stick up for though. I'll be honest. I did. I shared my opinion. I'm not one to not share my opinion. I did share my opinion. She deserved it. So if you want to walk around with this on your face, you do it. It's nobody's business. You do what you want. Or maybe you want to walk around with horns on your head. Do it. It's nobody's business. You do what you want. Okay. That's going to be enough of me. Uh, talking about what I think is ageism on, on clothing and fashion. Um, I just I just want it clear that you people, you men or women, you wear whatever you want. 
There should be no age limits. Have fun. You only live once, okay? You only live once. There's no, there's no like, bloody dude, boss of fashion. Do what you want. If it makes you feel good, wear it. That's the only point I'm trying to make. Don't let somebody else's opinions shut you down, okay? And I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling. I'm gonna stop now. I'm tired. I'll talk to you still. You have a fabulous day. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe but most importantly you all have a fabulous week